Hi, Pisces. Welcome to your January 2021 spirit messages. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by, my fellow fishy wishies. If you are returning, a massive thank you to you. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted and in honor of. All right, devoted to and in honor of. Pisces, holy bananas, let me know in the comments below if this Jupiter-Saturn conjunction hit you like a fucking ton of bricks. <laughs> I want to I wanna hear from you. I want to hear from you. Spirit messages are a little bit different than the monthly traditional tarot because I channel directly from source. I get spirit messages for you on how your higher self can support you in your growth and your evolution. The ever-unfolding world is cracked open and happening for you, not to you. Okay. Share your voice. Come out of the cave persecution expression. Listen. Listen to me. You are the embodiment of all 12 zodiac signs, Pisces. Okay, never forget how powerful you are. Okay, you are psychic naturally. You are old, you are wise and not physically old. Like you're old, just wise, wisdom. Okay, and sometimes people don't want you to share your truth because it is fucking the truth and it is also intimidating for them and they want to keep you small. Listen to me, you are the fish, you are duality. You can swim whichever fucking way you want. You can do circles around them if you want. Do not allow other people to keep you small Pisces, okay? Because 2021, 2022 are big years for you. Answer the call, what is your soul calling you to do? <laughs> Did you see that? Hold on, let me go. Let me go grab those. Yes. Okay, so you got soul family calling your tribe. You don't have to do this alone. And dance, do something to shift your vibration. Okay, so move those hips. Move those hips. Did it, did it, move those hips. Can I tell you something? Um, I don't know why. When I started saying move those hips and the ever unfolding rows and the dance, there's something, there's something to do with your sexuality and your heart and your body and sex. Okay, and uh, and I, I, you know, I don't want to turn around and say that this is like uh, about you having sex, but this is about owning the sensual side of you, your divine feminine. All right, uh, every month now, I'm also going to be talking about uh, a crystal of the month for you, you guys, rose quartz. Honestly, rose quartz is your energy. I'm feeling it. I'm when I was thinking in my head, like and asking what crystal for you, I kept getting rose quartz. So this is a beautiful chunk of rose quartz. If you have rose quartz crystal, keep it, put it in your pocket, wear it on a necklace. Um, if you like gemstone healing jewelry, I just launched a jewelry line called Starsea Jewels in the description box below. I'm wearing Venus right here, which is rose quartz with morganite. And then I have Aphrodite here. Um, and this is um, Am Amazonite clear quartz and rose quartz. And uh, there's also Davina, which is all about your divine feminine, which if I'm being really honest with you, this is it right here. I'm feeling big divine feminine energy here. I'm feeling healing, healing the wounds. You attract narcs, you attract energy vampires, you know? And it's not because you're a bad person and it's not because you're shitty, like shitty at picking relationships. It's because you're so highly empathetic and so in tune with people's emotions that these toxic motherfuckers see you and they want to absorb and suck in all your beautiful high vibrational energy. Not anymore. That's what the Saturn-Jupiter conjunction was teaching us. Not anymore. We are not here to be other people's punching bags. Repeat after me. I am not here to be another person's punching bag. I own my power. I am powerful, powerful, intelligent, ambitious, psychic, creative. All right? You repeat those mantras to yourself every day. And if you have other mantras that you're repeating to yourself, you do that too, okay? Repeat them to yourself. Repeat them in front of the mirror. Make it a pattern. Make it a habit, okay? Make it a part of your life. <laughs> what did I say to you? No more are we attracting this. You're moving on. Woo <laughs> okay. I told you, this is about love. This I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. This is about self-love. This is about your own love. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you got the nine of swords, the page of swords with dance. Yeah. You know why, honey? You're stuck. 
you're stuck in your hips. I can't, like, I can't move here, but you gotta, like, wiggle those hips. Whether you're a male or a female, wiggle those hips. And notice how I struggle to do it right? That's because I'm stuck there. So check it out and see if you struggle, okay? You gotta let, let it go, let it go, let it flow, okay? You got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the star. <laughs> Has this not been a pattern for you? Has this not been a pattern for you? Look at this. Look at this. That is phenomenal. That is amazing. That is powerful. That is beautiful. This is a reason to celebrate. This is a reason to rejoice. The candles move. That is spirit in the house saying yes yes it is your time pisces do not let these lower vibrational energies hold you back death at the bottom baby wheel of fortune come on like so you begin this reading with the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you not to you and the devil well look at what's in the devil the snake a kundalini awakening many of you might be going through that you might be feeling that energetically right now you might be, um, you know, I, I'm curious, you know, you don't have to share it in the comments, but I'm curious and you can obviously answer this to yourself. You know, if you have been stopping yourself from pleasure, when was the last time you masturbated? When was the last time you had sex? When was the last time you loved yourself in that very sensual, divine, feminine way? A bath, a creams, a massage, that kind of stuff. Because look at the ever unfolding rose cracked opening is happening for you. Look at that imagery. See how that rose comes out of her private parts, right? And then the devil. The devil is here as a way to say that it is time now to release. Release the limiting self-beliefs. Release the, release the blockages. Release. You are not bound. You are not stuck. You are not being controlled by anyone. The control is from here where you think that you need to give up your power in order to see any type of happiness and success. But that's not actually the case at all. See, this devil energy of codependency, of feeling stuck, of feeling stagnant, that entire devil energy vibe is all resonating and coming from this thing that you have to learn. And that was that message I was getting intuitively right in the beginning. And then we move on to share your voice. Persecution come out of the cave expression and the night of wands, okay? Again, if people have tried to silence you in the past, that is done now. You are no longer being silenced. You are no longer being blocked. You are no longer being held back. You will no longer not share your truth for fear of persecution. You will share your truth because you know intuitively that your truth is helping other people. Okay, the Amazonite will help you a lot in, uh, in being able to help clear the throat chakra. Amazonite is part of the Aphrodite blood. That's my heater that's just turned on. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? And the Two of Cups. First, I think you know. I think you know that it's time now for you to embrace vulnerability, to crack open that heart chakra, right? To welcome love into your life, especially for those of you that have been single. If you're happily in a relationship, this, what is your soul calling you to do in the two of cups is all talking about the balance within yourself, loving yourself, putting you first and building those friendships and building those connections that will help you and support you and be there for you during your journey that can turn around and understand you because your soul is desiring something. And off of this, I think your soul is desiring love, right? So how do you bring in that love? How do you attract it? Then we got soul family, calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone, right? With that two of pentacles or the two of cups. It's time now. Your soul family can be romantic relationships, friendships. It can be a plethora of things. It's time to call them in. You got it with the Six of Cups, which is telling me, especially in this card, the Six of Cups doesn't necessarily talk about nostalgia. The Six of Cups talks about the Akashic Records. Okay, so if you know how to go into your Akashic Records or if you trust somebody that's a, a certified Akashic Records reader, go get your Akashic Records done. Okay, 
but your masters, your teachers, your loved ones, your soul tribe, they're here for you. Every single one of them. They're ready to embark on this journey with you. They're ready to celebrate with you. Look at soul family, all the water imagery. We got dolphins and we got whales and you're the fishies. There's sharks as well, right? You know already, your soul family lives in the deepest depths of the emotions, of feelings, okay? You just gotta, you gotta get off this grounded energy and, and, and when you dive in, dive in not with delusion and fear, but dive in with confidence to connect with them. Attract them, call them in. And part of that calling them in will happen when you dance. Do something to shift your vibration, okay? got to move your body. You got the nine of swords and the page of swords. Okay. You're up in this over analysis paralysis. You're stressed. You're worried. You're in your feels. How do I do this? How do I do that? Right? Well, here is the answer, right? Because you go from feeling like a victim to getting an aha moment of clarity with that page of swords. Notice how it's purple. Everything's barren, but it's purple because she's listening to her third eye, her intuition. And even look where she's pointing and what the knife has third eye right because at the bottom of the deck you had the ten of pentacles and the star and that is where you're headed to now and that is incredibly powerful incredibly blessed and so why not surrender to that why why would you want to keep being limited when you can welcome in love a partner solid friendships a good foundation, a good home. For some of you, stardom, fame, success beyond your wildest dreams. So, I mean, as a fishy, from one fishy to another fishy, I'd say, why not? Why not dive into the deepest depths of the unknown with confidence? self-love and self-power and go after everything that you deserve. Pisces, if you want a private reading, take a look at the description box below. I have live and pre-recorded offerings. And also if you're interested in the gemstone healing jewelry, check out Starseed Jewels below. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.